lot of the clothes I make are just kind of like this stream of consciousness. I just see a material and it reminds me of something. It's meant to piece together a lot of family history that is just not talked about. Before coming here, I mostly stayed all my life in Puerto Rico. This is my grandmother. She's not a person that talks a lot about her feelings. When I make stuff, it's kind of like a way to talk about memory, family, without necessarily like speaking words. I create the room of this fictional character called Nena, who's like my alter ego. The articles of clothing I make, like, other people are gonna get to wear them in the installation, but it's not supposed to fit anybody else but me. The characters putting together, like, my experiences as a person and, like, different memories. The skirt, my mom made it when I was a kid for these horrible-ass school dances that we had. We had to play roles of our colonization. I found it and I was just like, oh, I wanna do something with this. That's kind of like where the memory-connected clothes started from. Do you want a masculine, feminine, um, both. energy? Both, let me see it. I like the act of dressing up. I like the act of making clothes. I'd be having three outfit changes when I'm not going anywhere in my house. <laughs> Puerto Rico itself is a country made out of like what was left over. We're just making things with what we have and that's kind of like how I make my clothes. I do work through things by revisiting like where I'm from and this bar feels like a piece of Puerto Rico in New York. Hey. As Puerto Ricans, we have like a lot of history and things that have happened, but we don't talk about them. I think through making something that's tangible that you don't necessarily have to talk about it, but it's still expressed and it's still out of your body. And then it creates some collective healing. <laughs>